What's up guys, it's your boy Zion. I don't know if you can hear that plane flying over my house, but you know what day it is. Uh, we're back in Destiny and it's Friday, so that means it's Jer Day and Jer's back in the tower. For those of you guys who don't know, Jer is a rare NPC who comes to the tower and sells exotic gear and weapons and shit. And he likes these vibrating coins that he sticks on the dicks on his face. On the frog, on the log, on the bump, at the bottom of the sea. Yeah. So, uh, I know I haven't posted too much this week, guys. I'm actually going on vacation. So this will be an interesting week. I'm trying to get everything ready, and I had finals. So crazy busy this week, and let's go ahead and see what Jer has. He's got the Helm of Saint 14, which is a definite must-have if you're a Titan. It helps out a lot in the fucking raid, because anything that runs into your bubble gets blinded. So it's really fucking awesome to have all the time. If you plan on making a Titan, if you already have a Titan and you don't have this helmet, pick it up. It's fucking awesome. Then there's the Young Omakara Spine, which if you're like me and you just want to have everything to collect, get it. If you're not like me and you actually like using some of your exotics, you will never use this gauntlet for your hunter. Simply because um, the Aklia Phase Symbiote is the best for gunslingers. And then on top of that, all this does is make your trip mine grenades last longer once you like stick them to a wall. So kind of really fucking useless. And then um, the skull of Dire Amankara is kind of in the same boat. It looks really fucking awesome, but um, all it does is make you tougher while you use Nova Bomb. So I could see that in the Crucible, but um, outside of it, I'd rather use the Obsidian Mind or something like that or the Heart of Praxic Fire. So this, this kind of doesn't help too much. I bought the skull of Dire Amankara simply because um, I didn't have it and I like collecting shit. So... I bought, I have all of these now, so I don't need to buy anything at this point. And then the icebreaker. If you guys don't have an icebreaker, this is kind of like the Don't Touch Me Bros or the Heart of Praxic Fire in the last couple weeks. If you don't have it, buy it. No questions asked. Just fucking buy it. One of the best snipers in the game. It regens ammo, causes people to explode, even if you don't hit a crit on them. It has a random chance to cause people to explode, and it's actually a really high chance. So it's fucking awesome for the Lamp Abyss. Plus, it gives you increased agility, and it's an all-around workhorse. Like, this sniper is amazing. It has so much more utility than the Black Hammer. The Black Hammer is tied with it for best simply because it beats it in DPS if you can hit crits. Um, so definitely pick up Icebreaker if you don't have it. Like I said, I have one on each character. Just because it's that fucking awesome. Then there's Exotic Shards, which he always has. And, um, a Body Armor Engram or a Chest Engram this week. So, now let's get into his upgrades. He has the Acclive Face Symbiote, the Mask of the Third Man, Helm of Inmost Light, an Insurmountable Skull Fort, Light Beyond Nemesis, Sunbreakers, Yallerhorn, Thunderlord, Plan C, Might of Multi-Tool, Bad Juju, Suros Regime. All of these are really solid upgrades. Um, I know a lot of people probably already have their shit upgraded, but it's nice to go ahead and have this in the game if you don't already have one. Plus, you can almost kind of re-roll your perks if you got one to drop and you don't like um, the intellect you had on it or something. You can upgrade it, get different perks. Or, I shouldn't say different perks, but different um like stats, like intellect or discipline, and you might get a higher one or a lower one depending on how he has it upgrading now for his telemetry he has auto rifle shotgun and rocket launcher two plasma drives to go go ahead and upgrade rare sparrows if you have them and you always wanted something with a cool like red trail or um if you don't have a legendary sparrow from like doing the raids or anything then he has heavy ammo since no drought awesome so oh shit weasel damn Oh well, but that's his gear for the week, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, a comment, a favorite, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Peace.